how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel finally samsung has started rolling out the much awaited one ui 6.1 update to some of its flagship devices and here i've got the galaxy s23 ultra which is currently running the latest one ui 6.1 guys this is kind of a big update that brings all the galaxy ai features which you are currently enjoying on the s24 series with that said, if you have updated your phone or you are just waiting for the update to arrive, then this video is going to be super useful for you. Today we will be checking out some of the best One UI 6.1 features that every Samsung user needs to know about. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let's talk about lock screen. Did you know you can now add widgets to your lock screen without the need of good lock app? When you long press and go to lock screen customization, here we have the brand new widget option. Just click on it and now you can add different widgets to your lock screen. You can add battery widgets, calendar widgets, reminders, Samsung health and weather widgets as well. The best part is that all these widgets will also appear on your always on display. Next, you can now add a frame to your wallpaper and it kind of creates a mask of whatever the object that you see and it makes the image pops out. Then you can also add a custom color in the background and the wallpaper can now have an artistic effect. You just need to swipe over and depending on your current wallpaper, you will see different options. So just like the iPhones, you can add some cool effects to the wallpaper. Another cool customization feature that I really liked is the generative AI wallpapers. If I long press, go to wallpaper and style, select change wallpaper. Here we have this option called creative. This basically helps you to generate your own wallpapers with the help of AI. All you have to do is just select a theme depending on your mood. Then you can change the background and it even lets you to customize the color. Once done, simply tap on this generate button and the AI will provide you with some stunning looking wallpapers to customize your home screen. Then you can set it directly onto your home screen or on the lock screen. I think it's an amazing feature, especially if you love customization and you like changing your phone's wallpaper on a regular basis. Now you don't have to search wallpaper online or install some third party apps on your phone. You can create your own wallpapers in just a few clicks. Next, let me show you one of my favorite feature and that has to be the circle to search. So when I press and hold on this bar at the bottom, it allows me to circle, scribble or tap anywhere on the screen to search anything on Google. As you can see, when I circle anywhere I want, it gives me Google search results instantly based on what I just circled. I can circle anywhere, it's gonna search that and get me some more details regarding that specific item. Now to enable this feature, go into settings, select display and then select navigation bar. Here you need to make sure that circle to search is turned on. I think it's one of the quickest way to search anything on the web. Like this, we have so many useful AI features available on the One UI 6.1 and if you want to see what are the AI features that are present on your current smartphone, then simply go inside advanced features and then select advanced intelligence. Here you can see all the powerful AI features that can surely help you to get most out of your phone. We have the live translation during voice calls. Once you enable this feature, now when you receive calls on your phone, simply tap the call assist button, then select live translate to start translating in real time. You can also select your and the other person language depending on the requirement. Currently it supports up to 13 different languages and the best part is it even works offline. So you don't need an internet connection and you can use live translate for calls, messages and some third party apps like WhatsApp and more. I think it's a really useful feature and now you can speak to someone who doesn't speak your language and it actually works really really well. There is also an app for this. If you just open the quick settings and select interpreter, now you don't have to be on call. When you are actually in person with someone, it will do the same exact thing and translate language in real time. The real-time translation also works when you are in the messaging app. Samsung has added the translation function to their keyboard and currently it supports apps like Samsung Messages, Google Messages and even for some third-party apps as well. So if you are trying to message someone who doesn't understand your language, you can simply enable the translate feature and it will start translating in real-time. Within the keyboard, you can also change the entire tone of a message that you are about to send. If you just tap on writing styles, it's gonna rewrite in different tones and I can choose one depending on the situation. You can be more professional, casual or simply text someone in a polite way. You can even correct your grammar and spelling with the help of AI. So these are the AI features built right inside the Samsung keyboard and you can easily access them when you are using messaging apps on your Samsung phone. 
Well, if you love taking notes on your phone, then Galaxy AI can also help you managing and organizing all your notes. Let's say you come across an interesting article and you simply copy and paste it into your notes. Now, if you look at it, it just looks like a massive block of text and that's when Note Assist shines. With just a single tap, it completely transforms this blob into a neatly organized format with headers and bullet points. Not only this, you can also use the translate feature to further improve the note taking experience on your phone. We also have something very similar in the Samsung internet browser. So if you are someone who prefers using the Samsung internet, then there is this really useful feature called browsing assist that makes content on web pages simple and easy to understand. Now let's say you are reading an article or browsing any web pages. If you don't have enough time to read an entire page, what you can do is you can just tap on this AI button and here you get these options. If you click on summarize, the AI will summarize the whole page for us and you can also change the summary type to detailed so you can get a more detailed summary on that page with little more information. Not only this, you also have the translate option so you can easily translate anything while browsing the web. You also get some really useful photo editing tools that can help you edit photos like professional on your smartphone with the help of AI. To enable these additional photo editing tools, just go inside advanced features, select advanced intelligence, make sure that the generative edit option is enabled. No matter which photo you select in the gallery, if you click on edit and then tap on this AI button, now you can actually adjust the angle of your photo, change the orientation and the AI will generate a new background to fill in the gaps around the edges. You can also move, resize or completely remove any object from your photos with the help of AI. Honestly, all these editing feature works quite well and you don't have to spend a lot of your time editing your pictures. With just a few taps, you can do some complex level editing on your smartphone. With every One UI update, Samsung tries to add more and more customization features and with One UI 6.1, we now have the option to customize the background for alarms. So when you select an alarm, simply scroll down and here you get this brand new option called alarm background. If you tap on it, you will able to customize the background. You can set a specific wallpaper that you want to see when you wake up or even set any video as the alarm wallpaper. Now let's say if you want to wake up early to go to the gym, then you can set your workout video as your phone's wallpaper to keep you motivated. Like this, you can set different backgrounds for different alarms and I think it's a pretty cool customization feature. There is also an extra battery protection feature. When you go into the settings, inside battery, select battery protection. Here we have three different levels of protection. If you choose the basic one, it will stop charging the device until the battery level drops down to 95% and then start charging again. Adaptive mode will make sure that you get 100% of battery when you wake up. And finally, if you select maximum, your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the best One UI 6.1 features that you need to try out on your Samsung device. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.